We're here in one of the most dangerous cities in the world, and I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a EDC or everyday carry update on what you can wear and some of your clothing when it's the lightest possible clothing, what you can carry, and apart from just being aware of your surroundings and knowing what you're what you're doing and what's going on around you. We're gonna talk about some really easy things you can do, some easy things you can carry for preparedness in any situation. As you can see, I'm wearing just about what would be the lightest amount of clothing that anyone would ever wear. And you really go to the beach, going to the gym, anything, when you're not gonna to wanna to have a lot of bulky items, a backpack, a heavy duty belt, anything like that. Some things that you can carry on you and even, for example, where I'm at right now, a tourist can't have any kind of firearm or anything like that. And there's options for bodyguards and things in this area. But often it could be more dangerous than good because some of the locals have very limited training. And any kind of a situation where you escalate something rather than avoid or even be able to defend yourself or prevent a fight on your own is a much better option. Even though I'm in what's considered to be one of the most dangerous cities in the world, many areas of this city are actually safer than the US. This city itself is not as likely to put you at risk of a random attack or a terrorist attack like we often see in the US. One thing that's very common in the US is for someone to be the victim of a violent crime on their way to their house on their way to their car, leaving their car, going to and from the house, to and from the car, or to and from the place of work, place of business. One of the reasons I carry Bone Breaker self-defense keychain on my keys, when I'm walking to my vehicle, leaving my house, my job, I have this in my hand here. And I just carry my keys like this, as you can see. Walking to my car, carrying my keys, okay? It also allows me to access another weapon with my right hand. For example, if I wanted to grab my neck knife or a concealed firearm. But it doesn't look like anything that you would not automatically assume it's something you're not supposed to have, something on a keychain. All right, so like I said, in my pocket, bone breaker, self-defense keychain, left hand, walking, to and from anywhere where I'm gonna need my keys. I'll have this, all right? Strengthens the small bones of the hand, acts as an impact weapon and force multiplier any way you flail your hand, okay? I also said if I need to step up my force, I can go to the next level here and go to the neck knife, all right? Here, push, all right? Neck knife right there, all right? This one is Stingray and Japanese silk with a custom finish. It's one of the really high-end ones. I have a couple of these available for sale. I haven't put them on the website yet, but I will definitely get them on the website at some point in time. And like I said, this is something you can wear. Super light clothing. It goes into this sheath right here. Under, all right, right there under any kind of clothing I have on. Really quick to access, just come up here and grab it. Really quick to access, really easy to get out of the sheath. Easy to go back in. All right, the other thing is the money belt, Bone Tactical Money Belt, also completely concealed. All right, I can carry large amounts of cash in here, passport, document, all right, all that kind of stuff. And it goes completely concealed. Underneath, it'll pass pat downs, okay, if you get in a situation where you wanna give up, avoid the fight, oh, here's what I have, all I have is this, all I got is you give them something light and don't give up your really important documents. So that's what the Bone Tactical Traveler's Money Belt's for, all right? We got the Bone Breaker keychain here, like I said, that's on your keys, and the EDC Kank neck knife, that's all available on the website, all right? Bone, the, this goes in your pocket here fairly easily. Access with a finger loop. This goes under the shirt. And I can get to this knife faster than anyone with a concealed firearm can get to their firearm, okay? It's less than a second it takes to get to this and defend yourself. And at close quarters, it's an extremely effective weapon that you carry almost anywhere in the world. 
all right check your local knife laws but you as you can see I'm super minimum I'm never gonna have less clothes on than this I can go I can be at the beach I can be a lot of times you're not gonna want to have a you're not gonna even you guys that say I EDC all this stuff I have a firearm everywhere I go you're at the gym you're training hard you're at the beach partying in and out of the water I can have all this stuff for that all right those are issues those are times where you're probably not gonna have your heavy belt your firearm all that stuff but even if I did want to carry a firearm with this clothing I wouldn't be able to carry it with just these pants but this belt is still heavy-duty nylon webbing and I can clip into here and carry or carry I can clip into this belt and still carry my firearm concealed with no other belt no external anything showing and still have a concealed carry firearm that's another advantage of Traveler's Money Belt. Bone out.